Hey everybody, Pinchy Al here from Pinchy Al's Garage and we're back with another unboxing. Now this is a delayed unboxing unfortunately because the previous camera and all my footage pretty much got destroyed. But without a doubt we're going to unbox this stuff from Eurotuning which is actually our sponsor for this segue today. So thank you Eurotuning for helping us out on this build. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. that's inside this box is to build a VR6 turbo engine not the turbo components this is strictly for an engine so we're gonna unbox everything everything's already been unboxed but we're gonna walk you through everything that we purchase so let's work with the uh, small box first Boop. Boop. and again we opened everything already but it's not as exciting However, you guys need to know what we have. So first off, the most important part of the VR6 Turbo is our cams. Now we got um, Autotech cams because I'm a big fan of Autotech. They've been around forever and they make amazing camshafts. You got the locking tool right here for the cams. And we got uh, pretty much a street uh, set of cams. And these are really well known for working really good for boost applications. Not heavy boost, but boost in general. Get this guy out here. Whoppa. These things are beautiful. Hope I can get it out. Now I got these when I was living in my other house and pretty much I moved out out here and it's been a couple months. Um, Unfortunately, moving is not the best thing in the world to do, but we're here and you see beautiful set of cams uh, from Autotech and again Eurotuning hooking it up with the right stuff at the right time and getting these quick Now we got cams for the intake and exhaust actually for both sides Because <laughs> you have to do one cam is intake and exhaust so they get the exact same cam on left and on uh, front and back or left and right so they're both the exact same uh, cams. They're the Autotech Street Cams, is what we got for our VR6 Turbo build. Now again, for our current build, we're trying to go to 350 to 400 horsepower on this uh, VR6 12 valve. So this is more than enough. Uh, we also got King Racing uh, main bearings. So these are phenomenal bearings for your car. Uh, part number, MB7089XP. Got a cool t shirt. Check that out later. A uh, Velt Sport crack pipe. Beautiful part right here. Cast and then a couple little polish ends, but those don't really matter as much. I'm a big fan of cast parts, uh, mainly because of the price, they're uh, affordable. Don't need a polished one or a, a stainless steel one because number one, no one's gonna see it except for you. So got that bad boy. See what's in here? Oh, license plate frame. Gotta have it. Euro tuning. You guys are freaking legit. Hooking it up. Bunch of stickers and swag. We're gonna probably hand these out to other people. So we got our stickers here. Bunch of stickers. <laughs> Our invoices, banner, lanyards, more stickers. Uh, we got the exhaust manifold uh, gaskets here. So left and right, they are very different. Um, Victor Rins is the brand that we always choose and prefer. Um, part number is 71294410. one and then 71294-3510. Oh yeah, we also got the metal uh, thermostat housing. Uh, actually made from Euro tuning, so legit stuff right here. Set that aside, don't want to damage that. Our uh, whole set of piston rings. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Obviously, you got to get some gets. We got gets piston rings. What do we got here? Victor rings. This is the uh, crank seal gasket. This one is, this is a cam seal, I believe. No, no, front main seal, the front crank seal. Um, part number 81242910. The one for the other crank seal, 81348918800. We also got a uh, new uh, HD uh, titanium uh, valve springs. We got new valve guides, titanium, um, um, oh my gosh, uh, keepers and seats in here. We also got new uh, stem seals, set of spark plugs, brand new lifters as well for the entire build. So we're going to be showing you guys how to build that today, later today. Uh, thermostat housing cap from uh, Euro Tuning. Gasket. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces right here. This is the uh, What is it the uh, combi valve uh, block off plate so part definitely needed um, O-ring for the thermostat accessory belt We got our timing uh, Timing kit so everything we need to rebuild uh, to do all the timing on this motor plus the hardware for it so if you guys don't know about VR6 timing, look it up. There's a lot to learn. Um, brand new set of thrust washers for the crank. A coolant temp sensor. Both new chains, because this is a dual chain uh, 12 valve VR6. That comes with the timing kit. What we got in here? Uh, brand new cam sensor. Cam sensor, I'll give you guys the part number to that. Uh, 4E1086, right there. This guy, knock sensor uh, as well. Let's see if there's a part number for it. Here it is. Uh, 60157 for a knock sensor. We have been re we're replacing all the sensors, so there's two of those exact sensors. Uh, what do we got in here? Uh, the oil pump by Phoebe. Gotta get an oil pump. Uh, part number F50102. Very, very important for your build. Never reuse your old pump if you're going to try to go turbo or full rebuild. Don't know the wear and tear on it. I mean, you can look up and research the wear and tear on it. But, I mean, for how cheap they are, it's just a smart decision to do them. We got a thermostat. Cheap. Uh, this is a crank. Uh, sensor crank position sensor important and it's a c40807 Ooh, the breather this sucker right here <laughs> sai breather this guy a little filter we're gonna need that when we uh, do the uh the valve cover and everything later this uh later in the build this is a oil pump uh no oil pan yep Brand new aluminum oil pan, just stock VR6 stuff. We need it because we're going to be using this to tap and drill and weld a um, uh, pretty much turbo line for this guy. So that's everything for this part. Uh, what I'm going to need out of this is all the head stuff. I'll move all that in a little bit because I'm going to be rebuilding the head later. Boop. Now, the next box of stuff, more and more stuff. We got here a brand new tensioner pulley for the accessory belt. Nice, nice. Uh, part number, uh, let's see here, 021-145-299C. Um, I always get stuff from Euro parts. They tend to be pretty decent in value and not bad. Some parts are bad, but you know, if it's basic stuff, you'll be okay. Uh, like an oil cooler, good stuff. Really affordable. Uh, part number 0681170021B, right there. Uh, we also got a set of a rod uh, bearings right here uh, from King. 
It's going to be CR6764XPC. Right there, guys. Now, we got head bolts. We also got rod bolts, which are super important. Um, we also got main stud bolts as well. Uh, you need those, especially if you're going to go turbo. So these are the rod bolts uh, from ARP. If you need these for turbo applications, just so you guys know, the factory rod bolts will not hold up to any uh, high torque on these on the motors. So uh, part number C200002. Um, you can also get up close to it. Um, you'll see the lower part number right there. Very important. And then we have the main stud set. So that part number is 2045403. Uh, but from ARP is 2045403 right there. Again, very important for your uh, for your bottom end of your block. You want to support as much of the bottom end because these motors will get extremely torquey uh, once you start boosting them. So help support them by hardware. And then these are the head bolts. Uh, again, studs. I'm a big fan of the studs. Uh, part number 2044705 right there. Very, very important for your build, guys. Uh, we, now we got our Supertech valves, intake and exhaust. Good stuff. We stuck with the, uh, what is it, triple groove. Yep, one, two, three, because those are factory style um, valves. They're meant for high horsepower applications. So we got the intake and exhaust valves, all 12, ready to go. Let me get you the part numbers for those. Uh, VW EVN 100076 from Supertech. And then VW IVN 10076. These are brand new uh, ignition coil uh, wire set. Gonna need those pretty soon. And the water pump, last piece. Last piece of the puzzle. VR6 external water pump. These are, I mean, not external, but they're pretty much external because they don't run off the, the timing belt, they run off of the accessory belt, but yeah. Killer deal for these. Again, this whole entire unboxing is brought to you by Eurotuning. I definitely recommend checking out their site. And, you know, drop them a comment. Say Pinchy Al's Garage sent you there. And tell them that you like what you, what you saw here today. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in for this quick unboxing for our VR6 Turbo Build. Again, brought to you by and sponsored by Eurotuning. Peace out and have a wonderful day. And check out the description down below for a link uh, to their website. Peace out, everybody.